what's it like? Always knowing the truth. There's nothing mystical about it. I could just tell. When anyone is lying. Yeah. I know what you did, you psycho. You're gonna find Charlie Kill, and you're gonna bring it to me. You live on the road, right? What's it like leaving everything behind? Start fresh. I got wolves on my fender. Oh, I gotta keep moving. Holy, holy. No, it wasn't an accident. I, I think there's been a murder. Red, please. Look out! I have been kind of a death magnet. I'm trying to figure out what happened. You watch too much Dateline. I could tell she was lying. What is it? It's a woman's intuition? No, it's not like a tampon commercial, okay? It's a real thing. I've been in the right vein, but it seems like wrong, wrong. I've been in the right world, but it seems like wrong, wrong, wrong. Come with me. Front seat of the trunk. Your choice. part where you're a human lie detector? Yeah, I know, it's uh, it's crazy. You ever gamble? Cause you can make a killing. <laughs> nah. I've been in a red place, but it must have been a wrong time, wrong time. I have loved director and writer Ryan Johnson since I saw his direction of Ozymandias, which is for me the seminal episode of Breaking Bad. And he also directed two others, including uh, the incredible season three uh, episode titled Fly. I also really love Ryan Johnson um, in his direction of Star Wars episode eight, The Last Jedi. It's the best of the sequels for mine, which I know is really controversial. And you might go, well, Malk, that's it. You lose all credibility here. I don't care. I think Ryan Johnson is great. Now, he also, um, uh, of course, directed uh, and had a hand in writing the Knives Out films that are currently on Netflix, if I recall correctly. So there's some good bones in what Ryan, and he's got heaps of other stuff going on. This uh, it, Poker Face is what this is called, and it is written, conceived, directed, and a couple of eps written by Ryan Johnson. It's like a mystery of the week, focused on Charlie Kale, played by Natasha Leon, which you might recognize or know her from uh, Orange is the New Black or other shows. Now, Charlie has a gift. It's more than reading people. It's her ability to tell if people are lying accurately, 100% accurately. It has meant that she's been busted out of gambling because a rumor got around that she was a cheat. She's not. And so now she's just trying to make her way in the world until she gets an offer that she can't refuse and the offer blows up in her face. This whole series snuck up on me. I didn't expect to like it, but it is part caper, part balls out road trip, and it is so, so fun. I also, I wasn't a super fan of Natasha Leon in Orange is the New Black, but in this role, she absolutely won me over really quickly. Uh, and it is surprising just how likable Charlie Kale is. And, and a great job by her and, of course, by Ryan Johnson directing. And there's an excellent uh, Orange is the New Black casting nod in the first ep too. Keep an eye out for that. Look, it is because it's like mystery of the week and mystery of the episode scenario, the only kind of through line that really sits in it is Natasha as Charlie and Benjamin Bratt, who you would have seen in the, um, the, the trailer just there, who's hunting her down. There's There's no two ways about that. You'll find out certainly in the first episode why that's happening. But the guest list is like a who's flipping who of Hollywood. And it rolls out some amazing people that just turn up for one episode arcs. Adrian Brody, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Chloe Savigny, Ron Perlman, Ellen Barkin, Nick Nolte, Judith Light, plus a whole bunch of others that you would have seen in that trail. It's amazing. So it's a different story each episode that, that Charlie's drawn into. But the overall thing is she, she's been tracked down uh, and she's just using her gift to help people. As I said, created, directed by Ryan Johnson. He also wrote episode one, which I thought was really good. Do not 
confuse Poker Face with the Russell Crowe movie mess of the same name, which is also on Stan. Mm -hmm. Poker Face is just really smart TV. If you love Glass Onion, if you love uh, Johnson's direction in Breaking Bad and, and the, those other works that he's got, you will absolutely love this. If you've never heard of him, you will absolutely love this. Poker Face is 10 episodes uh, dropping weekly. It starts this Friday, the 27th of January on Stan. Just put it in your I need to watch it list. Jump onto, you know, justwatch.com slash au, set up your account, put Poker Face in and make sure that you catch every episode as it rolls out because Poker Face is really great.